Hi guys, we are going to be looking at P. Diddy in this video. It's going to be a deep dive. <clears throat> I'm just kind of trying to get on my spiritual hazmat suit and pulling in my the Holy Spirit. <laughs> uh, you know, seriously, I looked at his cards yesterday and yuck. I'll tell you more as, as we go along here. So we're going to be looking at P. Diddy, uh, otherwise known as Puff Daddy, otherwise known as Brother Love, otherwise known as uh, whatever, you know, Sean Combs, otherwise known as In Trouble, otherwise known as a very... Uh, troubled dude gonna be collecting all kinds of felonies <clears throat> all right let's just see what we get that we need to know about like how is p diddy all right a lot of people because of the amount of drugs that this man has been known to daily require of his basically you know his his little fixers um is considerable so you can well imagine that um my makeup bag slipped you can well imagine that he's going through some big time withdrawal and let me tell you when you have to go through any kind of medicine or drug that you are abusing uh and you will lose control of your bowels you can actually vomit and usually you really your gi tract is upset and usually it's your your bowels um but he'd be feeling like he had the flu and for this this would probably go for a, a, at least a couple weeks of him being um off and <clears throat> i wonder if they are giving him any support especially for somebody that is that addicted um so that he can transition to a, a sober mind so I, I really would like to see also what kind of change that might bring oh card fell out i am getting the nine of cups no less the nine of cups so this is dealing with pleasure and contentment and and the issues of that and that's what this is all about what he's learned to take pleasure in and it's become debauched and uh, it comes from seeking a new high uh, that that thrill seeking i think risk taking type of thrill and also he's doing this to dominate people He's using sex to dominate people and feel in control of them. And I got that he he actually likes it when people don't want to do something that he tells them to do. It's that twisted. It really, it really is. So let's just see. Yeah, I tried to wait until later to do this but i'm worried if i don't do it now i'm gonna get too tired and i feel like the moment is now so let's just see with how is diddy handing any handling any withdrawal what's that like is he getting any support for physical you know, symptoms of withdrawal is sean combs getting any support for withdrawal from things he was addicted to 
I'm getting a death card. It's quite a transition. Yeah, I, I think he is now, or he will be. This card here of <clears throat> strength to me means that he could be given some things, but this is also a card of self-control, self-regulation. And so he's going to have to learn it. You know, this is the end of the the days where he didn't have to have any kind of self-regulation. And this is on the other side of a new beginning. So after the death of his other way of living. Hmm. Now, I still feel that he could be getting some kind <clears throat> of general um, watchfulness. I do feel like he has, like, <clears throat> this really made me feel like a nurse. Somebody, like, in a white, the white gown and just subconsciously when I looked at the card, I felt like this is a nurse trying to ease the discomfort a bit of the roaring lion because they're going through a hell of a, <clears throat> a transformation. We have the three of wands looking into the, he's really looking into the future and focused on that and on the fight ahead. He has got a battle ahead and it's not for nothing about assault itself and this card is a card of assault sometimes it can be like play fighting but you can tell by the other cards around it and this is not this is a struggle but being being that i read in pairs these two, the looking toward the future, but in the midst of a great deal of conflict. And he's going to, I think, claim to not be guilty. But I think he has no idea. I really don't. Of the battle that, that he's going to be stepping into. His brain has been differently wired since he's been doing drugs i really think his his logic is distorted clearly even though he's been basically a functional addict to some degree or no here we have the page of wands and the ace of pentacles i do think he will get some help here in dealing with the medical side of his situation. It does feel like it with a page <clears throat> of wands and the ace of pentacles. They could set up a, a new medical i'm feeling like a physical and him like being assessed does he need certain medicines has his you know situation but on on a basic level on a smaller level with the page of wands and the ace of pentacles it's smaller you know and i do get the world and the high priestess so there's some hidden things that he's going to want to keep to himself and is I probably won't get out but this ending of using i think and <clears throat> having to become more sober is huge here with the death and the and the high priestess and the world it, it shows that he'll complete this aspect of dealing with his addiction and sobriety but there's secrets there are secrets there with the high priestess that are being held 
and might be sealed on some level. His medical stuff would be probably. Um, maybe that's what that is. Yeah, there's a, a kind of a block on some decision or I think to do with business or finance. And he's run into a problem there. Basically, I think the long game of his finance is in, in trouble. And he has got to make some sensible choices. And his brain, it has not, is like jello. It really is right now. The Page of Swords and the Ten of Cups. I'm getting shades of paranoia with this. And I think it's because of the nature of the place he's in and the situation, but also mentally from stimulant use with the swords. I feel that he's leaning toward a propensity of um, possible suspicion and hypervigilance, paranoia. There's a, yeah, look, he's dealing with really significantly shifting energy and finances with his, this to me still with dealing with addiction and the shift of moods, radical shifts. It's going to take a while for him to pull out of that and for his body to settle down. Quite frankly, with this hermit card, and he's going to be doing it alone, more or less. <clears throat> and do, having to navigate some dark waters within himself is what I get. Yeah. Okay. Let's just see. Let's just look at his state of mind. All right. So I'm going to look at he did his state of mind. Now I just looked at his whether or not he was receiving any kind of assistance for like withdrawal. And it looks like he might, but it would be quite kind of little. Um, I, I don't think it would be any big significant help. It looks like he's going to be doing it primarily and on his own, and it's going to take some time. And um, he's got to stop, in essence, being such a baby uh, and go through these things because they're they're part of the consequence you know he's he's really being he got cards yesterday of like judgment and the devil and cards that all spoke to self regulation and that this cycle of dealing with now the results of such extremes uh regarding addictive uh, unhealthy behaviors negative attachments So I want to see what where is his mind at right now? And what is on his horizon? What is on Sean's P. Diddy's horizon? And where is his mind at currently? Let's see what we get. Well, I'm getting the lovers and I'm getting the king of wands. I feel like this is a partner. Now, I don't know if this is also a business partner. I do think it's an intimate partner with the lovers in this case. It doesn't just feel like a friendship um, <laughs> or business. This is where a group of people is concerned and collaboration and somebody withdrawing, pulling back from 
perhaps working with a group. So I feel like this could be a message of there is a partner of his, perhaps a king of wands, perhaps a fire sign, um, who I feel like is going, well, it could be that the pulling back is from pulling back from working with him. Let's see. Because there is pulling back and it looks like from a, it would be from a group, the, the efforts of a group. But maybe this is someone that is <clears throat> going to take their business elsewhere. I'm not sure. But they're pulling back where they are, and they're looking to heal or perhaps even clean up their own negative attachment behavior. That could be it too. I get a queen of swords and a three of three of swords and a queen of swords. So this is a female where there's a great deal of heartbreak over. I tend to, you know, like this could be one of the victims. I was picking up on a number. I got last night, I got three women and one male <clears throat> that were significant. Uh, the first I, thing I got was a group of three. And then later a female would join that group of three. And maybe this is one of them. But this is a female that feels betrayed, that feels like she's been done poorly by. I feel like it definitely could be somebody that is um, looking to bring a lawsuit. There is the four of pentacles and the ten, yeah, and the ten of, of swords. So he's trying to hold on to the money that he has, frankly, the assets that he has. This is going to be a very painful lesson for him. A very painful dark night of the soul with the ten of swords. Uh, but at the end result, it is something that he's not going to be able to resist. He has to release, experience this, and this has to be released. So he's trying to, I feel like, in vain, hold on to his, what he considers to be his security. But I feel like this is going to overpower that easily. This is going to end that. Let's see if the next two cards, yeah. He's going to face very clear, distinct decisions that are made. I think regarding um, the people that are bringing these lawsuits, and I think they are going to have actually success i get the ace of cups with him and the wheel of fortune i think he's going to start revealing a great deal of emotion at some point here and it's just due to the changes that he's going to in fortune literally that he's undergoing there's an opening up of his feelings it's it's like the only way for the universe to get through to try to open up his heart because when you become so corrupted that's what needs you need to be empathetic again you need to be spiritual again you need to heal yourself but you have to feel 
And that's a beginning point. Again, like these cards show, he's at an end point and a new beginning. It keeps going over and over. And I feel like he's being pushed out of living a very dark lifestyle, um, a very sinister lifestyle. We get him being confined and there is a sense of loss he and and re remorse but i feel like it's still more remorse for having lost it not because of what he did to lose it if you get what i mean yeah okay we have the the two of swords and the ace of pentacles this is a block on his money this is a block on a i think maybe even receiving a certain amount of money while he's i feel like being held i i'm really do feel that he's mourning the lifestyle the it's just so much shock for him he does have some friends this is a a king of pentacles and the two of cups another man that's very fond of living the high life would be a businessman in all likelihood one of the the business industry dudes possibly of an earth sign Okay, I think he's going to start to, he, I think he'll be worried about them, worried about that friendship, maybe, maybe worried about losing it. But it ending or that person um, not being there some way, somehow, there's a great deal of anxiety over the end of a journey. And I'm being shown a, a friendship or a partnership with a, a male. I don't know if that's a lot of people linked him up with Dr. Dre. But look, this guy is just going to have to uh, deal with and face the assaults. that he's responsible for. I wonder if this is someone coming towards him, though. There's a concern for me uh, with that, uh, with the Eight of Wands, because that Eight of Wands feels like, is this directed at him? Is this someone that's targeted him? It kind of looks like it. I think it is. And I think there's a lot of money behind it and secrecy this could be someone that directs another to act or directs more than one other person to act maybe a small group again of others to act i think there might be people that order people to um at some point in the future try to to rattle him try to uh be able to approach him rough him up even maybe that's a possibility if things continue the way that they have we do get a struggle if it isn't just the struggle of going through the change of living a very posh lifestyle to being in a really um tough situation within a, a prison system you know but there's there's hidden aspects to do with money i feel like i'm sure he's been fraudulent with it um i feel like he's laundered some of it 
Yeah. We get the sun. The spotlight goes on the lifestyle. It goes on this um, really high, opulent way of living. So they're going to be looking at that and all the, the money involved, his all his finances that they can muster. And I think what they're going to find is that, too, with the high priestess and, and, and that money, is some of that money could be hidden. Um, there there could be some hidden accounts, this, this kind of matter, that are discovered that could surface. There is going to be specialists that work on looking at how he lures people, um, looking at him psychologically, emotionally. They're the ones that are going to really bring significant in understanding, I think, forward. But there's a specialist, highly skilled, you know, um, is approaching and is approaching with matters concerning relationships, feelings. And I feel like trying to ask him about it. Um, and it might be a woman. And she's being patient, but she's working hard. I think to understand. So I feel, I do, I feel like that is some kind of specialist, so maybe some kind of doctor, maybe, you know, for the, the trial um, to be evaluated, that kind of thing. I think here we're going to get highlights of how he manipulated money uh, that he paid people and what he received from others, that he was pretty sneaky, pretty tricky, pretty much the magician with how he worked his finances. There's manipulation. And there's, like I said, I think there's hidden, not surprisingly, probably some hidden accounts that will be discovered. Um, temperance in the Page of Cups. Again, this is showing us that he has an extreme immaturity. There's a stuntedness with him that could probably go back to childhood. And it's emotionally stunted. He hasn't grown, I think, since childhood in, in some way, emotionally, the way he should have expanded, grown, and developed so that he would be more balanced. But this is too much. so. The universe sets up the hard lessons to bring in the balance since he's gone so far astray. That Ten of Cups, this is all the opulence and substance and emotional manipulation through drugs and games mentally with people. This is going to really get exposed. I feel like the gaslighting of people and the use of a, a, a really ridiculous use of overuse of substance, just consuming him is what I feel from that. It's gross. Oh, he gets the devil. Surprise, surprise, Miss Strength. He needs to, just what I said, learn self-regulation. He has so many negative attachments sexually, sadistically. He's allowed these dark parts to ha take the reins and control him. He is a slave, if you will, to his... Um, darkness, his, his whims that he's entertained and followed up on and just become more and more out there. And now it's he's being called back to figure out how to learn how to do some sort of self-regulation without the use of substance or any kind of other negative attachments. 
addiction, obsession, ways of not dealing with something by just numbing oneself, that kind of thing. He can't do it anymore. He's got to face it. So that comes up straight off. Again, look at this. I He got this last night too. This is a new cycle for him. And he's like a newborn baby on it. He's going to be learning that he's got going to be held to account for what he did here. And that his way of thinking and his awareness is going to change. And it will develop. But it is still at a very primary starting point because of, I think, all the drugs, his own um, emotional stunted uh, ness, if you will. He's learning, like I said, this is the place that he's going to learn it, is going to be in an enforced way by prison because he wouldn't do it himself. And here he is with the Empress. So here he is where women are concerned and money, abundance, um, maybe his mother. You know, this is probably his mother. Let me just pull a few more cards. The Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. I think that could be his mom. Hold on. Let me just see. I think she is a fire sign. Guys, I think this is... Yeah, guys, this is his mom. She's a Sagittarius, December 21st. So there's going to be some drama with her. Some drama with his mother. Uh, up and down. So that's that's drama. There's trying to juggle aspects of helping her trying to bring her situation into some form of balance but it's 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 hectic and here we have the past it's going to remind him of the past i think of maybe when they were struggling or there was a financial decline and you see two figures that are not doing well and they don't have a deep pocketbook um their money is declining is is something in the past so that gets revisited again i think he and his mother have been through a number of lifetimes together i just got this uh oh wow that was trippy now i'll just put this out there i got a vision of <clears throat> them as gangsters in like in like the 20s and being really young. And I think she was male in that life. Anyway, I don't know. But I find that when I get stuff like that, I'll have other stuff that for me confirms it, cards or dreams or something weird. And I can get that kind of a feeling there. Um, it, you know, I I believe that, again, the law is going to be holding him to account for his over uh, involvement in pleasure. And his parties, I think, are going to get looked at. So financially, I don't think it looks very good for him in the future or his mom. And it looks like they're both going to be kind of social pariahs to a certain degree with most people. Um, they're definitely going to feel that way um, with the five of pentacles. I got that for them last night as well. Um, she came into the, the reading as well last night. Not quite as much as this time, but she popped up. So I think she's going to be looking to try to... <sighs> get the law to make sure that they have a comfortable environment because they're they're not going to it's going to be reminding them some of, of a troubled past of a hard past so maybe she i don't know if she's gonna 
be just in dire situation uh, on the outside of of bars. It might be that, and that he's in in you know trying to help her, or whether she herself might end up there. I, I'm not quite sure. I don't tend to think she'll end up going there. But there's going to be an end. There's an end coming. And again, transformation is yet ahead further down the road. <clears throat> now, this could be actual physical death. I don't know if it's the passing of his mother or... And if it's possibly through means of substance, or if that's for him, I'm getting the hierophant. I feel like someone trying to overcome struggles with moral issues of morality and um, traditional ways of thinking. She's definitely I feel it's just I think what's going to be hard for him is truly everyone knowing his business and I you'd think somebody being this blase that it just shows you how much the drugs really had hold of him. I really think he thought that this would just cont continue on forever. I do. I think after so many years, I think he really thought it was kind of built in. Yeah, he's, his reputation is going to be tarnished. The moon and the six of um, wands. He, he loses stature in the community and in the black community. All right, let's just see. Let's see, does he go away? Does... Um, does Diddy go away for life? Let me just shuffle this. I had to open my skylights. I'm just, uh, it's very humid here. Um, I'm asking if he's going to go away for life. Will P. Diddy, Sean Combs, get a life sentence? Will be will he be in prison for a long term, like a life sentence? I get a no. Just intuitively. Let's just see what I get with the cards. I get judgment, and I do get the page of wands. So I do think he's going to be actually held to account. Uh, there might be some fluid things yet where deciding how that's going to play out is concerned but i do see that they are going to to not just react off the cup there is thought put into it but he will be held to account especially i think for the this drugging people and the the copious amounts of i think substance and what he did for his own pleasure that was at the cost of other people that needed that needs self-regulation. His extreme uh, addictions with, I think, sex and substance. And more and more um, degenerate behavior takes more and more to get somebody like that off um what's coming also on the horizon for him is dealing with his cruelty to people and his ruthless need to win and the tactics that he employed uh with also people overseas i'm getting this person is holding the world in their hands um 
so there could be victims overseas. I haven't paid attention enough yet. I think this is going to be somebody that's going to come in on the scene more quickly. Yeah. And that two of wands becomes a four. I think they're going to come in and be seeking something from him. And it will, I think, expand probably the suits that are ongoing against him. He's going to be in there a while. With the seven of pentacles, the six and the seven, six and the seven of pentacles. And he's going to be looking um, to appeal for help and to learn patience to deal with this. And believe you me, he will be looking, I think, for possibly new legal representation as well at some point. That's not surprising either. There are some surprises yet to unfold further into the future with him. Some hidden stuff. I think it's just going to be like a volcano that keeps overflowing with with stuff into the future there's so much behavior that's criminal i feel like on a broad scale yeah we're getting the five again of wands and death there might even be looks at issues of people that had passed through violence? Could that be the cases in the past that we're all familiar with? I'm not sure. Like Big E and all that? Maybe. But it's giving that energy that it's somebody that died as a result of the violence that he's a part of. And there's secretiveness, and it's it's going to be coming forward on the horizon. It's the Three of Wands. That's going to start coming into view. And we get the Hangman and the Page of Swords. So there's, there is a possible delay of that information. I feel like there's going to be eyes on it, reviewing it. Yeah. I think some of his behavior with younger people is going to be looked at and there's the, the issue of fame around all these people and people that are seeking that fame and younger people that were seeking that and that were innocent in what they that they expected him to actually help their career not put them in compromising positions literally and sell them to people so to speak we get the ace of wands and the six of wands so <clears throat> I'm feeling like there's going to be some success, but I do feel like the little bit of success that people get with him, they also end up paying for dearly. And again, I feel like there is a king of wands coming up for him that could be uh, a problem for him because this is someone I think who he 
started to help, initially got them some success, he would be a fire sign, but then they got to burn out. They got to burn out with that 10 of, of wands. And they knew the dark side of doing things for money. See if I got that there. So it's like, why would you like, this it's dirty it's i'm getting like dirty money it feels like they feel dirty i think too i think these are some of the people as well that probably participated uh in his parties maybe professionally or otherwise but i i I feel like some of them are just going to regret it and, and clean up their lifestyle because I think that drugs are a big, big problem. And it's how he keeps people, you know, under his power. Yeah. Oh, he gets the tower and the ace of cups. It is just not going to quit. There's just more stuff. Is He's going to be in, in there, I think, probably for life. And there's something coming. He's not expecting. Um, it, he's definitely going to feel some kind of way. There's... I'm feeling like a female... It could be a house, it could be property, because sometimes it's kind of that aspect for me. But there's something that's that's not stable here. And I don't know why I want to say it's the house, but he's going to be losing things anyway. It, it could be somebody that's coming for him again making him not feel like like the floor is he's going to feel like the floor is is doing this underneath him is really just up really dramatically up and really dramatically down and the world and the magician this is the end of his tricks it's the end of his uh being able to manipulate he has run that course and now his soul his spirit is due to learn consequences for all that depravity and what it's done to him and to try to get him to wake up let's just see will he wake up will he wake up and realize um at all uh and get a different perspective because he's sober what will be left of the way he can think will he still be as messed up So like a sober ditty is may not necessarily be a sensible or logical person. What's he going to be like sober? With having done substances for so long. What is Diddy going to be like sober? and not having means. It's going to be really hard for him. The, the magician is used to getting what he wants and manifesting, and here he's having, it's going to be like pulling teeth to get what he wants. Does it mean that he will figure out a way to find substance while he's in prison? Maybe. The moon and the high priestess. 
secrets hidden stuff here. You know, I he's going to try to keep what he's experiencing, I think, with regard to substance use private, but it's pretty dark. And mm, I think he's also going to be looking for hidden ways of receiving. He will. The Ten of Cups mm -hmm, and the Sun. And he might get exposed. He might be exposed for it. He might be exposed for having received it or looking for it. With the Ten of Cups. Up oh, and judgment. Once again, he's going to get caught and held to account. I feel like he's going to be held to account. I think while he's in there, he may become so uh, restless for substance of some kind that he may procure it or try to pro procure it if he doesn't completely do it. But I think he's going to get caught and held to account and it's not going to, to go a stray somebody just shut off fireworks it must be a basketball game or something going on um yeah he's gonna feel like he wants to walk away but he can't he's gonna feel trapped uh and he's used to being happen having to have been able to walk away before and to just not worry about it but he can't do that anymore the devil and the star. Now, normally this is, I think, an opportunity of, of I think, for hope uh, for him to get clean and sober, but I think it's also um, being a high visible target and the corruption. And it, it could be trying to also procure things during uh, night, That's another aspect. Both of these cards are, are dark. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I think he's going to probably try to procure those things. It wouldn't surprise me. And he could very well get in trouble for it. It could be people that he knows from the past that he's going to look to see if there's a way that they could uh, connect and help him. Yeah, he's going to be trying to get away with things because it's going to be very rough for him. Very, very rough. And I do think mentally he's going to be struggling. I do think with that wrap around the head with the nine of wands, I do think his way of thinking has been affected. I do feel like He's not the same, and you you never are the same again. I don't think that he's going to be sober voluntarily. Let's put it this way, and he's going to be looking to see how he can't finagle uh, getting some something. Let me see, is he going to succeed in getting something? while he is in prison, substance-wise. Now, this is all alleged. This is, in theory, this is the cards. This is entertainment. <clears throat> so, is he going to be able, should he seek it, to procure it, some kind of substance? Because it looks like he's going to be gemsing. Yeah, I think he will be able to get it. I think there is somebody that could come through for him.
but he might get betrayed with this three of swords and something that is secret could not be maybe secret anymore it could involve like other people so like maybe it's just kind of like is this just like uh, people aware that he's going to be looking for it and to let higher ups know if he does people know and know that he's going to be wanting that yep look at that uh-huh he is looking to make the connection the rainbow connection of not skittles pills whatever drugs i feel like with the seven of cups and the lovers looking let's make a deal But he's going to regret it. He's going to manifest regret and loss. So I don't think it's going to work out. And I think he could really get more ruthless and fixated on getting what he wants. I think it's not, it's not going to be too easy, but I think he's going to try. Yeah, look, and the sun comes out and he gets caught, I think, trying. So I'm just going to say it. I think he's going to get caught trying to do that. Okay. Let's just see. Are there other um, people whose careers that are going to be exposed as a result of aligning with diddy uh, and going to these parties and all of that being part of his really inner circle that he engaged in these really crazy behaviors with is he going to bring bigger people than himself down and other well-known entertainers is diddy going to bring down other people in the business and industry Well, I feel like he will get counsel from his lawyers. I do. And it there is a, a secretive element. There is something hidden here. It could be some hidden counsel. Advice. Let's see what else. Hmm. The Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. This is Diddy. And I think he's going to be bust into talk. Maybe it's part of withdrawal and everything else that he's going through because he will be going through so so very very much big changes sweeping changes that he has not had since the 90s you know um <clears throat> we see him being i think very without a filter he's just going to do it his way and I think he's going to put his own his own foot in the poo so to speak I think I think he's, he's going to be counseled privately about this 
But I think he's going to go ahead and do what he wants to do. And I think he will say something. Yeah, about the past. And, and maybe maybe to do with people that are younger. Maybe to do with children or his children. I'm not real sure. It's a broad topic there, but... And about healing and stress and pulling back. <clears throat> Page of Wands in the Sun. Yes, I feel that there will be people that are exposed. And he will expose them and it will make their lives harder and they will try to withdraw to basically, I think, cobble their life together, so to speak, heal for this. I think he will expose a male. It looks like to me, I'm getting like a male energy. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I think he will. I think he's going to be paranoid again, and I think that he's going to be suspicious over people's motives and some of these people of the past, and he's going to be looking to see, I feel like, who's expendable, and I feel like he's doing that with these two cards there. Yeah, look at this. You know, you don't mean that much. I can... There's, there's a ruthlessness to him. So I do think that he doesn't care how it will affect other people um, and to do with their careers. I think he will perhaps give a few names. He's really mistaken. I think he thinks that um, he's going to somehow get away with this and somehow he'll overcome all these these things and get back on top again it's it's he's deluded so is diddy going to just be a deluded mess or is his thinking going to ever ground itself and become more clear and lucid or is he going to just remain kind of scattered in as a result of his use well i think he's going to he <sighs> doesn't want to change he wants to hold on um again this is involuntary he's he's going to have to be kicking and screaming so to speak to change to undergo this change of from living a very uh, with so much that he can just do what he wants carte blanche of course he wants to hang on to that but that's not going to happen knight of pentacles and i get moving forward but it's it takes a long time it's very slow progress but eventually things will start to move forward i feel like his mental state will eventually clear but he's going to have to work very hard on it with the knight of pentacles and be um, consistent and it will start to change um, but I think he'll be motivated by trying to get the house back get certain things back or to hold on to certain things um, like his home or at least a property that he views as a uh, value it's his form of security stability 
and not just maybe the house, but also just in general, I feel like anything asset wise, financially wise, he's going to be in financial straits. He really is. Um, I do see him receiving spiritual counsel. I don't know if it's T.D. Jakes or not. Let me just see what T.D. Jakes, will T.D. Jakes remain friendly with Diddy? Or will he give him the cold shoulder? How will T.D. Jakes be with Diddy? Will he try to distance himself? or no well i get the older man with the emperor i think that could be td jakes in this case trying to get away with something the the seven of swords oh but it's going to blow up in his face Something for that man is going to blow up in his face. The facade. I think also that he's a big time partier user of a variety of substance. It's going to come unexpectedly for him. Okay, we'll just see if that's true or not. If this, you know, comes out, you know, wouldn't be the first time he's been rocked by a scandal. But oh yes, look, all the religious cards are popping. And I think he's going to try to hold on to his church or whatever, his his followers. This is working to... I feel like the work that they've, there's something they've done to, together. They both are going to be in the same thing of working on, I feel like, moderation. Issues of moderation will come up. I do think he gets exposed with the tower. He's one of them that I'm getting will probably be exposed in this. In a way that he does not expect and anticipate. And the fool echoes that and he's going to be struggling to overcome it but he he probably will manage all right i want to ask about that book that kim kim's last was it words now that man that wrote that book is a known scam artist for for writing these books and I just don't think the book is real. I didn't when I kind of saw what was, how it was done, had a bad feeling. But I'm just going to ask the cards, is that book fake? Is the Kim's last words fake? I feel like this guy's a scam artist. He's really good at it. He does this over and over again. And yeah, I do think it's a fake. It's it's it just just like <sighs> this guy's effort to cover people their the kind of like their family, their story. And then he worries later about the the overreach, shall we say. So this guy, uh, yeah, I don't think that, yeah, no. He's very patient. It's a game. It's a tactic that he employs. But he's going to find himself stuck. For, for doing that at some point so i don't think that that book yeah i would agree i don't think it's real i'm just but is there does someone truly have 
Kim's um, last recorded thoughts. Some stuff I've read made it sound like Diddy really did get to her stuff before probably any of her friends could. But let's just see. Does any of Kim's friends, are they in possession of her diary or a form of diary that she kept that is legitimate? Any of Kim's friends, yes or no, have her diary, some form of her diary? To any of Kim's friends. I think they might. And it might just be a small portion. With that beginning card. Once again of the pentacles. The ace of pentacles. And it would indicate that it's very secure. Um, the death. Ooh, and the Wheel of Fortune. So, either her death could have changed something here. As something's ending, though, and there's going to be a new beginning. It could be that there's information about deaths as well that are very transformative. I get temperance and the ace of swords. I do feel like somebody has something. And it was because there was, again, so much of an extreme behavior going on with him that I think... It, something was recorded. Maybe just even if it was assault or whatever. She may have made notations down. But there's clearly, I feel like, something that was written. I do. I do. And I feel like someone's holding it. I don't feel like it's very much, though. It could be partial. A start. But I don't think it was finished. It was, it's, it just does not feel like anything that's complete. And I get a king of cups. It might be in the possession of a male, a very sensitive male. And in their holdings, maybe even in their possession of their home. But I feel like it's very, very locked up. Okay. Will Kim's, will this information this person has of, for, of Kim's, will it ever come out? Will they release it if they have something? Will this information eventually come out or no well i get the tower and a queen of cups so i think it could come out in a very unexpected manner and maybe in light of a of a another woman Well, there is something that is not anticipated that is coming. It's going to be a bit of a surprise here where that's concerned. I feel like, yeah, Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords. I feel that it could come, something could come forward. And again, with the Aces, I don't feel like it's a whole heap of stuff or information i feel like it's segments or bursts of bits of writing 
probably just little segments. The past with the six of cups and the two, it would dick it to me, it shows an unstable past. So I'm getting cards that certainly speak to something that would be like a diary, and it looks like that this does exist, and it would be eventually, uh, I think, brought forward, and it probably records uh, um, moments of extreme mood shifts and struggles in dealing with him and maybe her moving at some point um or wanting to move i think it will eventually come out and i think this is her but it'll be on another timeline um it'll be on its own timeline it's going to take us by surprise so i do think we will get what remnants may exist of a in diary entries you know little blurbs here and there um nonetheless i think it will be very interesting Let's just see. How did Kim feel toward Puppy toward the end of her life? I'm just curious. How was she feeling? How was Kim feeling toward him? Stuck, confined, restricted, and much like her self-expression, really wanted to be free to express herself, but felt very restricted. And I think sometimes it got the best of her and she would just say it, and I'm sure she paid a price, like her nose being popped. I get the world and the Ace of Pentacles. She was done with him, but I feel like the, the financial hold was there. I think he was providing, at the end of the day, a means for her, a place to, probably to live, that kind of thing, some basics. She might have started to look at this. And she, I think, wanted to be free. The Ten of Swords. I mean, the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So, yeah. It was very stressful to her and mentally draining. And I think she was getting ready to consider not being dependent on him. And maybe that's what would stimulate what I think he did do. Which brings me to that question. Was P. Diddy responsible for Kim? Even though I know the family says nothing funny about the mother's passing and all that. I'm going to ask the cards. With Kim's passing, was there anything untoward that Diddy was involved in regarding Kim's passing. Regarding Kim's passing, was Diddy involved in anything he shouldn't have been doing? If you know what I mean. Was he somehow involved? I'm getting that it's possible because I'm getting he doesn't care. There's no feeling. There's a feeling. There's the feelings are numb. And again, maybe it's because of substance. He's not really present and he's not. I, I think it's the drugs. I think he's just numb. 
He's not really present in the, the past or the future or the present. He felt like he was alone um, and that she was on her own, going to try and go on her own. And I don't think he particularly liked it. I think, again, I'm getting a sense of if she was trying to go on her own, I don't think that he was particularly okay with it. it wasn't exactly rooting for her. I it almost feels like he feels like it was a an excuse. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, there is a king of cups that he was thinking of. in connection i don't know if that's i'll be sure or not i think i read on this one time there was a plan i see a female i, I feel like these are people that may work for him as well so that might not be i'll be sure but it looks like there was a plan they were looking for to do some to take action in the in the future at that time of her passing there could have been a, a woman also maybe involved in creating this plan. And this is Diddy and the moon. So I do think that he has something for, that he knows about that's covered up with regard to her. That doesn't look good. Yeah, look, he gets a, a, the cluster of people working together. Well, I just got a small cluster of people working with him. And there's a lot of money involved. So. It looks to me like a very likelihood that he did. I'll just leave it like that. All right. Oh, my God. This is really ridiculously long. I don't know if anyone has watched this long but you've managed to make it through more power to you um it looks to me like he's going away for quite a long time and i think yes more people are going to be uh finding themselves exposed maybe not as many as people think but i do think a few, uh, definitely there's a male that's coming and i think that there's uh, maybe like a significance of four, three to four people is what I got um, from the other night. And I kept getting that number of three to four people and a male that might join as a last kind of, uh, I think, person to bring forward another claim so we'll just take note and you guys can let me know what you think about that i am so tired now and i feel like i am just gonna have a good spiritual cleansing now so if you appreciate readings like this please give me a thumbs up this was a super deep dive and we will just have to see how this plays out because most of the time i don't always remember everything that i have picked up in a reading and and i might have to play this back but that guy's going away it's serious and this is big for him so i don't think it's just no small matter all right i'll see you in the next video and saturday on saturday's live bye